Okay, Bog Graveyards, apparently, um, is the name of our next area here. Alright, um, so, I figured I would do Sewaka's route until Dolk, and then I'll swap over to Om, and do a couple battles there, and then swap back. So I'm going to do a couple battles on each side, and keep just going with that, uh, until we get here. Alright, um, <laughs> so, uh, we're probably just going to send our troops in here, uh, yeah. I have remembered this one now, actually. Uh, yeah, okay. It's the one with all the bone walkers, and there is a lot of them. And your party's split up. Um, I don't think it's always bone walkers, but in this case it is. Uh, it's much, much harder if it's actually... Um, I'll just speed this up. And it's much harder if it's actually um, gargoyles, which can spawn, I believe. Uh, but yeah, basically this is a really uh, simple fight. Uh, I don't even know if I'll show it, in all honesty. Because uh, I'm not seemingly going to be getting lucky with the hits right off the bat. And they're going to take damage from the lava, I assume. Or whatever the fuck it is. I don't even know what it is. So I'm just going to quickly do this fight. I believe none of them have an item. Well, I couldn't really tell, you know. You just kind of get items and you're just like, oh, well that was a good chance to get that. Alright, so yeah. I don't actually know if bone walkers drop anything. Anyway, so I'm gonna be right back once I finish this fight. Alright, guys, that was relatively simple, and yeah, so I'm pretty much gonna have to do that fight whenever I try to pass that area, which maybe a couple times, I don't know. Um, but anyway, we should be able to go attack Dolk. I believe he only has 10 units, yes, he does. Uh, let's check our items for the time. We're pretty much going to be wanting just the same, pretty much. We want to run Kapawa, Katria, and S in there. Maybe not S this time. <laughs> uh, I give the Angel Ring to Sonia. She got a couple levels. But this time we'll try and move everyone up there. Oh, wait. Alright, there we go. Enemy 11. Turn off. Oh, 389. So, yeah. Apparently I rested there, uh, which I probably shouldn't have done, but whatever. Um, right, okay, interesting map setup. Oh, we have a bit of talking. Oh. Hey, there's women here too, man. The great human Dolk. I, I don't see how you can be serious when your name is Dolk. Just like, it just doesn't work after a point. It's like... Yeah, my name is Dolk. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's just fucking kill this wizard if we can on the first turn. Yeah, we probably will be able to. And let's just start speeding this up right now, because I know this will take forever. Hey, eight, eight XP. It's not bad. There is this massive thing you've got to cross. It's just so unfair on you as a player. Um, so yeah, this map setup is really not in your favour um, immediately. Um, I mean, obviously I can move S to get someone on there. The well, was pretty much stuck there for a while. Uh, boy's not much better. Can't wish you'd be able to get out of there. Yeah. Uh, bo boy actually got that power in defence in his last level, which was decent, you know. Uh, unfortunately, it may... <laughs> Not me. Sonya cannot teleport as a witch. She has lost the ability to do that somehow. Uh, and Jenny cannot warp. Which sucks. It really does. Uh, I'll try and get Saber over there. Because their movement on here isn't very bad. So, yeah. Oh yeah, flying units don't take damage at all. Uh, obviously, on these parts because they fly over them. For some reason I completely forgot that. <laughs> Which is why last, <laughs> last chapter I was like trying to get them over to it. Alright, as. Mm, she's got some defense, but. Alright, whatever. We'll take a chance. Yeah, Dora doesn't hit. Okay. So I want to take out the shaman as soon as possible, if I can. Uh, can I go over these walls? Yes, I can. Alright. So yeah, the shaman is really the one you want to take out. I probably should have given these star ones to catch, you know, but whatever. Whatever, I'm a dumbass, it doesn't matter. 
so Valbo's Valbo, well, he probably regained it from the ring anyway, so whatever. Alright, so we got a couple of snipers, they're nothing, remember, because, you know, effective bow damage. Because someone brought up that the bows actually have zero might, and that's true, you cannot triple zero. Well, you can, but you get zero still. So, yeah, kind of a strange one, but whatever. It basically means flying units, well, you know, flying units, only being Pegasus Knights in this game. Uh, they don't really need to fear bows, apart from Wolf. Not really. Uh, and even Wolf, like, I probably could take him, in all honesty, so yeah. Uh, right, uh, well, if he's just going to leave us open like this, I'm going to try and kill Dolk here. He has death, which is very powerful, um, but luckily its hit rate is not very good at all. And he shouldn't be able to summon, now that I've done that, uh, or so I hope. <laughs> Uh, if he did hit me with death, I would need physic, obviously, um, but otherwise it wouldn't be too much of a problem. Power up! Alright, so Saber's going through here, and instead I am going to use physic on Saber. Now, it's always nice to have um, the same bonus of regaining 5 HP per turn to every unit around them, uh, which I assume includes themselves. And there go the dra dragon zombies. He was on 2 HP, how can he do that? I guess it just doesn't cost them any HP. Not that it's really going to be a big deal, because I'm going to try and kill Dolk this turn. Uh, it's probably going to work, actually. Um, so you can rush chapters like this. Uh, it's probably a better idea to do it in some cases, because just... Fuck these guys. Slime is going to hurt. Okay, it didn't hit. Uh, right, so I believe Saber is still taking damage. Yep, Saber. Uh, can you not move one more? No. Great. Alright, so uh, yeah, it's a dragon zombie. No real issue here. Um, he's only on 2 HP. I mean, come on. But he can't cast death, so he's done. May Domus Blessings! Yes, you'll be seeing this a lot. Actually, I don't know how much you see it, really. But, whatever. So yeah, that gets rid of that guy. Uh, this guy has slime, uh, which means he automatically needs to die. Don't know how he has slime, but I guess it's because he's being a level 5 wizard. I don't know. That's 11 damage, man. Alright, so... I don't know, I guess I'd Physic Saber. It doesn't look like she can regain health, which is annoying. Oh well, there's two sages over there if I really get low, and it's not like they're going to be hit, able to hit me from here. There's no fucking long range magic in this game. There's just bow knights. <laughs> yeah, bow knights are really annoying, but they're pretty much the only long range guys you'll face. Of course, that makes them the most annoying unit, of course, uh, because you can't really hit them back with anything else that isn't an R bow knight. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's annoying in some cases, but whatever, this guy should be dead, yep. And uh, we pretty much can roll forward with Saber, who hasn't really been getting too many levels recently, so I'll probably try and let him kill some guys here. If his hit rate was better, I mean, the Dark Sword is probably do <laughs> doing half of that, but you know. So yeah, Pegasus Knights are my main way forward at this point. Alright, looks like I'm not getting much here, so let's just uh, let's try and uh, kill one of these guys at least. Alright. I, I, it's just really easy to feed them because you're just like, yeah, you know, you don't really need to keep everyone balanced levels in this game, so why not? We'll, we'll, just, we'll just keep attacking. And Mermaids at this point, ha ha ha. Funny. Uh, Saber cannot double them though. Uh, the dark dark sword does have a pretty hefty weight thing on it, doesn't it though? So it might be due to that. Can I actually check it from here? No, I don't think I can. All right, whatever then. Um, we will try and kill this guy with Saber. It's probably not gonna work. <laughs> And no one doubles. 
Fine, I'll have to do fucking everything with Pala, apparently. Because she's like the only competent one here. Yes, I know it's because she has the Star Lands, but still. She's level 8 already. I mean, like. Remember, they don't promote into something. If Falcon Eye is promoted in this game, they literally would be the most broken unit in the history of Fire Emblem. Like, there, there's no. There's no, there's nothing else that would be more broken. I'm, I'm not kidding. Is he on like 99? No, he's not. Right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack with catch here. Um, maybe I'll miss. I did miss. All right. Uh, maybe Saber can get this kill, and if he can't hit him, then I'll wait a turn and see what this mermaid does. Probably run away, in all honesty, but whatever. So yeah, the dark sword is okay and everything, but maybe I should give it to Camway instead. Because uh, I think he has a little bit more speed than Saber. Because right now this guy only has 14. So, fucking he did run away. That was a joke. You asshole. And there we go. Finally kills him. And levels up. And gets HP. And disappoints me. Alright, so uh, with that we pretty much took out Dolk. Uh, fucking that name. Alright, yeah, this is the teleporter into the dark woods. I forgot it was in here. Uh, I guess we're going into here. I'll save, first of all. Um, it's nice that you can save in here. But basically, you go into the spot and you get into the dark woods. Or the lost woods, I should say. Nice music. Uh, so yeah, you can find various ways to fight the battles you're looking for. But basically, the one we're going to grind off of is going to be the mummies. Uh, this is the way to progress on Sawaka's route. Uh, there are a lot of fights you can do in here, uh, but pretty much you cannot like go through these forests. Uh, I forgot about this actually. That you could, you have to go through Dolk's place, Dolk's crib, and eventually you'll get to the Sage Village. And I believe one exit leads to uh, Jamil over here. But uh, next time we're gonna do uh, a fight with Om, which is probably gonna be this fight here. But we'll see. So yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're actually going to start that now or if I'm going to leave it to the next video. I'll give it some thought, but yeah. Okay guys, so I'm not actually going to do this fight <laughs> first. Because yeah, I just remembered. Um, I pretty much want to go this way anyway so I don't have to go back. And the fact is I don't want to go into this fight right now. You'll see. But, um, yeah, we're going to leave Soaka there for now. Uh, we're going to take out this guy, uh, the hero. Uh, not hero. Um, <laughs> demon, demon fighter here. Um, I moved over some gear. Uh, I'm pretty sure what I've got them set up on is pretty... I'm pretty much only taking the Dragon Shield, the Angel Ring, and the Star Wance over whenever I trade stuff. Uh, I got Matilda with nothing on here, which I probably shouldn't. I'll give her, like, a Night Lance or something. Uh, I'll leave the Star Wands on Clive, for now, and yeah, that seems okay, alright. Uh, so we're going to go attack Sizos, or something like that, something like that. Anyway, so yeah, this, this map is one with witches, and it can actually be over pretty fast if things go okay for you, um, because there's really only like th four other fighters that aren't witches. Yeah, four. Um, so it can be over pretty fast, or you could be dead. <laughs> so once again, this is which is unfortunately, uh, I should say, this time uh, they're not. There's not as many of them as the um, the Sonia chapter. So that's good. First of all, <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's speed this up. I'm pretty much gonna do this for every chapter from now on. Saizo, yeah, this is the boss. Uh, doesn't even have a portrait. Uh, but he is a slayer, and he's not that scary. Mostly because he's not going to be over here in my face and be teleporting over here. But yeah, he's not terribly scary. He is a pretty decent fighter. But whatever. Alright, Alm's movement and fucking Jute's movement is not good, but whatever, we'll deal. Uh, right, so yeah, we're pretty much going to be bringing everyone up. Oh, I still got Robin with that angel ring. I believe. Uh, can I actually get a hit on you? Yes, I can. 
On first turn, that's pretty nice actually. I know the hit rate is shit, but we could at least attempt. Uh, okay, Python's not gonna get a level from that. Alright, so yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty standard stuff here, just the witches are bitches. Of course. Uh, Alright, turn the sound down for me a bit. Yeah, that guy has a lot of move. Uh, so some of the witches aren't gonna teleport, uh, this one's gonna. You're gonna, you're gonna attack Grey, okay. That's probably doing a decent amount of damage if she did hit. Well, thankfully she did not. And our one, uh, over this side. Gonna attack Om. Alright, I don't actually know how much that would do. Uh, right, this mermaid's not gonna have a good time against Robin. Um, you know, Robin's trying to give up, but he's just not very good. I mean, he, he can critical, but he can't kill this guy with a critical. It's like, ugh, god damn it. And the last one is going to go over and attack Robin, which is actually not going to do anything because he is a Demon Slayer. Alright, so, uh, right, well, we can we can kill most of them this turn, uh, actually. Uh, so, this one I'm going to go over and I'm going to use Aura. I don't know why I'm using Aura, but I'll just use Aura. And that'll pretty much take the <laughs> attack to full, basically. And Duke will get more XP because she's fucking broken and more power. I mean, look at this. I mean, at this point, do you want to mess with this? The correct answer is no. Uh, right, so we will get forced to go attack this this witch here. Um, I don't know why, just because. He's probably going to get hit for quite a bit now. And he is going to double. Well, 8 isn't too bad, but you know. Right, so this witch is almost dead as well. Uh, I'll probably get... I uh, shouldn't get out to kill him. Get Rio to, to try and kill this guy. Since he kind of uh, sucks, in all honesty, but alright, whatever. He managed to kill her. Uh, right, so, um, hmm, can I actually get her to move any further than that? No, I cannot. We will use Angel on Silk, uh, just because higher hit rates and why not. So, yeah, that's good. 100 XP, man. Uh, skill. Eh, whatever. Uh, right, Python doesn't want to attack like that. He wants to attack from far, far away like a douchey uh, Bow Knight does. Seriously, what is wrong with their horses? They're just kind of, uh, can't be bothered, man. So yeah, this might not take that long. I don't know, it might take a little bit, but it shouldn't take terribly long. Hopefully I get a crit with Clive. I don't, but I do hit. Which is almost as good, because she's just going to run away. And, uh... Oops, oops, <laughs> went too far there. Uh, so I pretty much want to try and take out this last witch with Robin, if I can. I might not be able to here. Uh, right, he's only doing 11 damage. <laughs> yeah. It's like, God damn it, 11, really? Man, you suck. Alright, I'm going to bring Matilda over here. Uh, I, get, I did give her the Night Lance, remember? Which is okay. Now, they have three, no, two, two witches left. Uh, I gave Claire the dragon shield, that is correct. Uh, I can fly her in there. She has 25 defense, so she'll pretty much be able to take whatever they throw at her, uh, pretty much. So I'm gonna go attack this witch here and kill her. And that is one less threat on the map, which is good. Uh, so I'm going to bring Cliff up, uh, I'll probably just bring uh, Grey over here. I can't remember if it's level 10 or level 12 that uh, you can promote to Grey Knight. Uh, Grey Knight? <laughs> Gold Knight. Grey Knight would be quite interesting to see, but he is going to be a knight, I guess. Alright, so our boss here, Saizo, is not threatening when you have the Dragon Lance, but... Dragon Suck Shield. I'm all over the place, wow. Dragon Shield. This guy, this witch can use lightning actually, uh, I don't know if they all could use lightning. I should probably check that. There is one still alive, so yeah. Maybe some of them can use lightning, I don't know. Fortunately, Cliff could not hit. He <laughs> just level up though. More defense on this motherfucker. Uh, no, this is a level 1. Right, so apparently it was just one of them that was level 5. And lastly we have this mermaid that probably sucks. Yeah, in fact he does suck, but whatever. He's doubling though. 
which is interesting. Claire is just not getting that speed, I think. Alright, so uh, I pretty much want to try and take this this witch out with Clive, but it might not go well. Okay, it worked out fine, worked out fine. Um, yeah, this one teleported over here, which is interesting. Really bad hit rate, but maybe I can get a hit on her? No, I cannot. Uh, pff, force, why not? Kind of strange that she's got lightning as her attack, but whatever. I mean, that's that's fine, I guess. She's got a lot of HP for a level 5, like, damn. Um, oh, should I get Jute over here? It uh, probably isn't necessary, but we'll try and kill this guy with a Ryoto. For girl, whatever. Alright, that is fine. Alright, we also got magic, which is good. Uh, Cliff, his defense is 18, so he's not actually doing that bad. Uh, his power is 15. Wow. Wow. Alright, um, we're gonna go for Excalibur. I picked the wrong person. Great. Well, this guy's dead, at the very least. Wait, he's not doubling? Man, these mermaids have decent speed on them. 14. Wow. Then again, I didn't think... I didn't think uh, Cliff only had uh, total speed there, either. I thought he had a lot more than that, but apparently not. Alright, that guy's super dead. Skill and speed. There we go. I guess you have 15... You only have 12 speed? Are you serious? Jeez. Um... Alright, what we'll do is we will we will end our turn there, and yeah. So I'm pretty much going to finish this episode as soon as we finish this fight here, which is looking not to take that much longer. Uh, pretty much just got to take out this douche here, and uh, yeah, probably Ragnarok would be the best. Or I could arrow him, I guess. attempt to do that because it's not that reliable. Um, so I will try to do that with Cliff. Uh, meanwhile I'll try and kill this guy with fire. I'll use fire. That ended up not being a good idea. Alright, um, all right. so this time use arrow. I know it's a 8 HP but I may as well. This hit rate is terrible man. Ah, this guy is a douche. Um, now I can warp people, uh, so I pro nah, probably not warp Matilda here. It's probably not a good idea. Um, let's get force there. I will end my turn for now. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish this battle and then I will end the video. So yeah, basically, um, we're pretty much going to be going up the mountainside, uh, which means we'll need to oh, nice take out um, this witch boss next, I believe, was the next fight. Um, I can't remember how many witches she has as well, but maybe it is just her, I hope. That's good. Alright. Alright, so it's just him left. Uh, I should actually be able to just Ragnarok him if uh, I can. Let's, let's slow it down for Ragnarok, because it requires it. Forty-two damage. Yeah. And this was a magic guy. This was a Demon Slayer. And I believe I was right on 99 HP there. Uh, yeah, Mara is our next opponent. She is a witch, as we can see, which sucks. And uh, Nubaba is also up here. He's got his manor. Um, there's also the Fear Shrine in here. Uh, so we'll be moving on to those next time. I hope you guys enjoy it and look forward to more Fire Emblem Gaiden. So I'm pretty much going to say Mara and Nubaba out. Or I'll, maybe I'll do Mara and then do the Shrine and then I'll do some fooling about in the Lost Woods and then I'll come back, take Nubaba out and uh, go over here and maybe do some more stuff on Silicon Side. Or that's my plan at least. So I'll see you guys then.